original Nissan x was launched way back in 2001 and came as one of the first crossover cars on the market. Fast forward to today and that segment is bigger than ever, though the x still remains. This latest one brings more technology and better refinement, but can it do enough to stay in the game? The x is certainly a chunky looking thing, with a variety of styling touches such as the chrome grille and LED running lights helping it stand out from the crowd. Large alloy wheels fill the arches nicely, while chromed roof rails give the x a go-anywhere look. There are just three engines to choose from, a 1.6 litre petrol, 1.6 litre diesel and a larger 2 litre diesel. Only the diesels are available with an optional CVT gearbox, with the petrol featuring just a 6 speed manual. That smaller diesel is the best choice in terms of economy, returning up to 57.6 mpg on a combined cycle and emitting 130 grams per kilometre of CO2. As I mentioned earlier, the X-Trail is available with a range of petrol and diesel engines. However, this one in particular has a 1.6 litre diesel producing around about 120 brake horsepower. That 1.6 litre diesel drives a six-speed manual gearbox and it's actually got quite a pleasant action. Now, the engine does feel slightly gruff under heavy loads and it means particularly when you're accelerating onto a dual carriage or onto the motorway, you can notice the engine coming through into the cabin, though that's to be expected of a smaller capacity diesel. Now, of course, any crossover that claims to have off-road capability you usually take with a pinch of salt. However, this X-Trail does actually come with proper four-wheel drive. Now, it's switchable, so you can run it in two-wheel drive or you can run it in actual four-wheel drive for when things are getting a little bit slippy. Now, the X-Trail's ride is extremely comfortable and it does tend to iron out lumps and bumps in the road ahead of you. However, it does feel very, very soft, which means that you do get quite a lot of lean through quicker corners. However, the steering feels pleasant enough. It's quite light, which may put some people off when you're driving at higher speeds, but around town this makes it really, really easy to drive. The interior of the x is a generally spacious place to be. The seats are wide and comfortable, and it feels like somewhere you could spend a good deal of time. There are a couple of negatives, however. These buttons, for instance, don't feel that good, while the infotainment system doesn't operate even half as good as competitor options. That said, the main dials are clear and easy to read, which does help improve things. There's a good amount of boot space to be found in the X-Trail too, with 565 litres with the seats up, rising to 1,996 litres with them folded down. The Nissan X-Trail brings a number of positives to the table. It's smartly designed, well specced inside, and is available with an economical range of engines. However, its interior feels outdated compared to current rivals, and this does bring the car's appeal down. That said, it still remains capable and, with prices starting at just under £24,000, it's relatively good value for money. 